Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikhail and I'm a full-time reseller and we are starting off the day at Rethink Thrift and we're just gonna do a full thrifting day. Hopefully we can find some good stuff to flip for a profit. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna look more into this in a bit. This is the Canon AT1 35 millimeter film camera. It's 40 for the whole lot. This Canon Speedlight 177A goes for about 30 bucks. Um, oh, this whole sticker fell off. And there's tons of accessories. So the, cam the Canon camera alone goes for about 100 if it works. And there's all these access accessories. So I'm gonna think about it. On a new rack is a nice Columbia jacket. Base price, so $2.50. Not bad. All right, so clothing and shoes are actually still half off, so that's only $1.25. Here are some Ugg sneakers, no laces for five, but I mean, for five and they're in good condition, I will get them. Along with these dance go wedges for five, really good condition. I just pulled off this Patagonia little puffer vest and unfortunately it does have this embroidery on it, but I mean for a dollar 25, I can't pass it up. It should go for at least 20 still. And it's lightweight, it'll ship first class. Okay, here's another Patagonia, and unfortunately it does have a embroidery still, but it's new with tags. For a dollar 25, you cannot beat that. I'll get, you know, 30 to 40 for this, even with the embroidery since it's new. After spending some time going through the new clothing racks, we found some really good scores. Start off with these Patagonia jeans. And remember, like I said, everything's $1.25. So Patagonia jeans, those are 30 bucks easily. Now this is a brand I've shown you guys a few times. Cinch. They always have it like on the pocket here. It's a really good brand, nice big size. $1.25 into also 30 to 40. Found one, two, three long sleeve Carhartt shirts, all the same size. So I'll probably lot them together for like 35 to 40. Outdoor Research is a great brand. Just like a nice like mid-weight sweatshirt. That should go for about 25 to 30. I have to look up this brand, I've never heard of it. Some Patagonia shorts, you know, $20, nothing crazy. And Eddie Bauer Tech, I've never seen this uh, style of Eddie Bauer. It's like really, really nice. So for $1.25, I'm gonna take a chance on it. Probably 20 bucks if I'd have to guess. And a Patagonia button-down shirt should go for 20 as well. And then I just gotta look this up. Uh, McKinley, yeah, not sure. All right, so this is gonna be a no-go. It's just not really selling. A lot of seashells. Someone went to the beach. <laughs> I walked by these earlier, not realizing they're fry boots. Fry boots for $7.50 is a great deal. Yeah, really good condition too. If I had to guess, these are probably $75 boots. Maybe more, maybe less, but probably around $75. Okay, so I couldn't find this exact one listed, but Outlaw Body Wash, like similar ones, same size, are selling between $15 and $18 free shipping. These are all brand new. Um, I'm, they don't have a price on them, so I'm guessing they're going to be like $1 or $2 a piece, which is the average price for them here. So I am probably going to get these. Actually, this one doesn't seem to be fully new. It's got some crud up here, so I'm going to leave that one behind. But this is a one listing quantity of two. Oh, hi, Hank. Hi. Okay, so digital cameras are worth really good money now. They always sell really fast, especially these Canon power shots. And, but you always wanna check the battery compartment because as you can see, sometimes batteries explode in there and they're corroded. And sometimes if it's a little corrosion, you can clean it up, but that's just a little too much. It's probably not gonna work. So for 10, I am gonna leave it behind. Maybe I'll get it for parts and repair if it's still here on half off day and sell for, for like 20 bucks, but I'm gonna put this one back. Okay guys, I only spent $28.22 on everything. That is insane. I put back the camera stuff, it just wasn't gonna be worth 40. Maybe on half off day it will be. But I mean, I got all the clothing you saw, just one piece of the clothing is gonna make me all my money back. These fry boots will triple my money. So like $28, that is just an incredible deal, incredible start to the day. Some really good brands of clothing, yeah. This is why I say I have the best thrift stores in the country. They're the cheapest. Uh, I had a $5 off coupon. Like, you can't beat it.
We are now at the Goodwill in Belgrade. Right off the bat, the first thing to catch my eye are these Scarpa boots. Unfortunately, they're $25. I don't want to pay $25 for them. If they were $15, I would buy them because they have Gore-Tex. Scarpa is a great brand of mountaineering boots that usually sells fast for $75, but... All right, some snowboard boots, DC, and they are in like minty condition. Ah, 30 bucks, but wait a second. Are they, are they brand new? Okay, these might be worth $30 if they are brand new. I, they have a tag. Yeah, and they look to have never been worn. So I think those are brand new. I think, I'm gonna look up the exact model, but I think that's gonna be a buy even at 30. Then right over here are some Ride snowboard boots. A little dirty, they're only $15, but Ride's a good brand. I'll probably get those too. I guess it's just a snowboard boot day. 20 bucks for these uh, Ramasets. They have the BOA cable, so. Over in the hard goods, I immediately spot two iClicker 2 remotes for $2.99 a piece. These are easy $20 to $22 free shippers that always sell fast. If this is really nice, nice little wicker patio table. I kind of want to get this for outside. It only has one chair, unfortunately. So I decided not to get the table because it only has the one chair. If it had two, I would definitely get it. But just found something way better. Isn't it beautiful? A Tumi suitcase for $5. Tumi suitcase. Now it's a little bit, you know, a little rough condition, but it's just mainly just really dusty. Doesn't seem to have any rips or tears. And this is a huge freaking score. Huge score. That's an easy $150 to $200 bag right there. Probably $150 in its current condition, but still, for $5, that is awesome. And you know how I am. Once you find one to me, you gotta scour all the bags in hopes of finding another. So I will keep you guys updated if I find another. All right, I'm not seeing anything else to me branded, but I mean, still, cannot beat that. They very rarely have new carts sitting out here, but I think, eh, I'm not, I don't think this is anything crazy, but I'll put it in the cart and look into it. In the women's shoes, just found these Hoka recovery slides for $7.99. Pretty good condition, just a little dirty. That's an easy $35. Then just down a few uh, pairs or these oboes, but they're just really dirty. $8 is a good deal. I just don't want to deal with them. I've got enough. Okay, I just found this Under Armour camo jacket. Under Armour camo actually sells really well for good money. It's $6.99. It's probably a $30 jacket. All right, so I'm putting back the bag and bats. This, they just aren't worth anything, really. Not 10 bucks at least. Hmm. Okay, I know... This like fake food stuff can be valuable. I don't know like, uh, at least I think it is. I'm pretty sure I've seen in other YouTubers videos that like you can sell the stuff like in lots for pretty decent money. I think I'm gonna take a chance on it for six. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put back these uh, Rome SDS snowboard boots. I, for 20, it is worth it. If, especially if it was like peak ski season, I would buy it. They go for like 70 plus shipping, but being out of season, I just don't feel like paying 20 for them. But I am gonna get these DC Phase snowboard boots for 30. They are brand new, like I said, and used they go for 75. There's no sold uh, comps new so, or listed. So I'm gonna list it for like 130 and I think I can get it. I'm pretty certain I can because DC snowboard boots sell really well. That turned out to be a really good stop. I had, I thought I was filming myself putting everything, you know, from the cart into the trunk like I normally do, but I guess I didn't hit record. I didn't want to do it again. So I'm like, all right, I'll just come in here and talk. $64 spent on everything. I'll triple my money just off the Tumi suitcase. So that is amazing. The rest will be profit. Uh, the Tumi suitcase should sell really quickly. And I'm going to take this chance to remind you guys that every 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a four pack of American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. So make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. We're already halfway to the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Subscriber giveaway. And then I'm also going to do a whatnot show to celebrate the 5,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for getting me here so quickly. We are now at the third stop of the day, Four Corners Thrift. They've got some cool knickknacks. 
some Sorel boots for 15. I don't want to pay 15, but tomorrow is half off the entire store, so I'm gonna come back and see if they're still here. All right, so I don't know how much it is yet, but Snap-on caught my eye. Ah, oh, 40. Dang, I was hoping it was just gonna be cheaper. Let me look it up though, because that might be worth it. Okay, so that's definitely a brand you want to remember, but it's definitely not worth 40. There's only one sold on eBay and it sold for 28 plus shipping, so it's definitely above value. So I'm unfortunately, unfortunately gonna leave it behind. And it says no half, so it won't even be half off tomorrow. Alrighty, but here we go. Now this has some discoloration, but Nike doesn't make golf clubs anymore and Nike drivers are very sought after. Nice little ping four iron, nothing crazy. It's 15 for the whole bag. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Hmm, maybe. Let me look up the driver, see how much, cause I don't want the bag. I just want the two clubs. All right, so I am gonna get the this for 15. I don't really wanna pay 15, but I'm gonna, cause this looks like I can get between 70 and 100 for it. So that's gonna be, I mean, look at the grip. Yeah, I'll get that. And then the ping four iron isn't anything crazy. That's like a $20, 15 to $20 club. So for 15, eh, I think I gotta take the bag down. Yeah. I think when I buy it, I'm just gonna be like, do you guys wanna keep the bag? Cause I don't wanna deal with it. Okay guys, so in my very last video you saw, I'm pretty sure it was the last, I picked up a bunch of Boyd's Bears for $53. And here's another bin full for only 20. And this one has more bears than I got last time. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna get these too. And these are gonna be in future whatnot shows. That's pretty cool. A whole bin full of Boyd's. And there's more than just bears, there's bunnies, there's all sorts of stuff. So I feel like, I was unsure if the $53 for all the 25 bears I bought, or no, 28 bears, something like that, was worth it or not, and I still don't know. But 20 bucks for probably more than that is definitely gonna be worth it in my opinion. Like I said, these are all gonna be on whatnot at some point, so. Uh, nope, 25 bucks for some kids' keen boots, I'm okay. Alrighty, that turned out to be a really good stop, so I, this was supposed to be 20, and the bag was supposed to be 15. But I had a $10 off punch card that was full. I totally didn't realize I had a full one in my wallet. So I only spent $25 in total on all of that. I mean, that is insane. Plus I asked, I'm redonating the bag. I'm just putting these in the car. I'm gonna go give them the golf bag back. But man, oh. all these Boyd's Bears, basically for 10, you know, uh, that's just an insane deal. I can't believe last week I spent, you know, so much more. This one's got a little fishing net. And uh, yeah, some are new, this one has a tag. So I think that was definitely a good buy. Might not be that good of a buy, but you know, never know. Now I have like 50 of these bears. All right, we are now downtown Bozeman running into Saks, the community thrift store. All right, first find is this Mana Med Plasma Flow for three. It is used, but used they sell pretty consistently for about 35. So that's going to be a buy. All right, so over in the shoes, my first find are these Danner boots with the uh, felt soles. I'm pretty sure these are like wading fishing boots, and they're only five, so that's a buy. And some Uggs just caught my eye. They are four dollars, which is really cheap for this store. So I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, these aren't a crazy model, but they sell for about 25. Down here are some Doc Martens for 10. Hmm. Let me see. This isn't the most desirable model. So I'm probably gonna leave these behind, just condition and price. But there's another pair, but they are 13 and in worse condition. This is a better model than those ones were, but just the condition is just too rough on these for 13. Some heel rubs, so. Okay, so I spent $8. I ended up putting back the Uggs. They were worth four, but they just, those slippers kind of sell pretty, pretty slow for me. And going into the summer, they're just gonna sit a while. So I figured just to get the Danner boots, which I should get about 54 and then 35 for the uh, pulse massager thing. And the last stop of today's sourcing trip is going to be do over thrift as usual. Over in the shoe, I spot some on clouds and they are only 10. They have decent tread life left, but man, are they filthy. I don't know. If they were better condition, like a little cleaner, like all this, that looks like it's not gonna come out. So I am gonna leave them. 
Okay, so even though these are in pretty rough condition, I mean, not that bad, just really dirty and definitely need to be polished up. Blundstone is a really, really good brand. Oh, dang it. Okay, they're 20, which still might be worth it. I thought they were base price at first because I didn't see the tag on the inside. I'm gonna put them in the cart and I'm gonna look them up. I know Blundstone can be really good. Uh, I just wanna see if they're worth cleaning up. Some Hoka's, really good condition, but I don't wanna pay 25. So they have this big bin of bags and it's two for $5 unless marked. Uh, this Michael Kors purse is 15. I don't wanna pay 15 for it. If it was obviously, you know, one of the two for fives, I would buy it. But I always like do a quick peek in here, but I never really dig because the store definitely tends to mark their stuff up quite a bit. Oh, that's Coach. Probably not real. And 25. All right, so the music's really loud, but Schneez is a really good brand. A 3XL button-down shirt for 10 bucks. 10's paying up, but I bet you that's at least 30. All right, but now that the music's quieter, Schneez, it's a, they make really good boots that are usually worth, you know, well over 100 used. And it's Pearl Snap 3XL, great size, so that's gonna be worth 10. I just looked up the Blundstone Chelsea boots, and for 20 bucks, it is paying up. But I'm gonna get it. It looks like once I clean them up and get them looking, better with some Doc Martens Wonder Bomb. I should be able to get 80 to 100 for them and they do sell very consistently. Okay, not a bad stop. Only got the two items, 30 bucks total. Should make, let's see, 70 on the boots and profit. I don't know how much the shirt goes for. I'm gonna guess 25 to 30. So about 100 bucks in profit from 30. Uh, not bad, not the best margins, but I will take it. That is going to wrap up today's sourcing trip though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember, every 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away bubble wrap. So make sure you're subscribed. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.